This video is sponsored by the Patreons. Thank you for supporting the channel and making this video exist. Without you, Schmeichel would probably be locked up in a cellar somewhere doing some job he absolutely hated. Uh, oh wait. Never mind, ignore that. Anyway, hello you fellow engineers and welcome to The Wandering Village. This is a game about a village that wanders around. <laughs> It sounds bizarre, but it's amazing. Basically, there's a giant dinosaur and he's got land on his back and we're building a city on his back whilst trying to keep him healthy, but also use his resources. So let's resume where we left off. Uh, oh, and this is this is where we left off. Look, our little Onbu, that's the name of our dinosaur, by the way. He's sleeping in a nice sleepy patch. Uh, but yeah, if we zoom in, look, this is our this is our city. Oh, look how much stuff there is. Yeah, and basically, there's a bit of a balance. So there's like there's like rocks growing out of him that we've got to harvest. There's trees growing out of him. Uh, we've got to keep him fed. We've got to heal him if he gets hurt and stuff. And look, even if if we go over this way. We're even collecting his poo. That's a very efficient looking winch if you sort of tilt your head a bit. Anyway, the poo collector is, of course, it's Ace Rob. He's seen things no man should because that is a big butt. Anyway, if we zoom out and we zoom out again, this is the world map. So this is where we are now. And can you see there's like icons dotted about? Uh, basically, we can click on them and we can send a party because we built these things down here, which are called scavenger huts. And basically, they allow two people to go in and sort of, well, go and scavenge stuff. So you can see up here we're we're waiting a decision because we found a collapsed mine so as soon as your scavengers stepped inside the mine the ground starts to shake and huge boulders fall from the roof and block the exit so do we check for a way out or are we confident and we can go get the iron ore anyway i think i don't i'm really scared of losing people like people are very very important to my little ombu colony so i'm just gonna i'm gonna say guys get the hell out of there just come back now, oh look they found a lever that or lever is it lever 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 don't know. But at least they, they found some stone on their way out. So we'll accept that and then we'll send them on their way again. So top left, this is all my resources. You can see I've actually got loads of stone. I've got loads of wood. That's what these are. So that's a quarry where I can get stone. Oh, it does say other minerals there, actually. Yeah, solid. We'll send a party over to there. There's also, if you look on the very edge of the map, I can be a little bit sneaky. There's another mine there. So let's send some people up there so we can get some more iron ore because I think... Yeah, we're completely out of iron ore. So that's iron there. If we zoom right in, last time we built this, this is our iron furnace. Now, obviously, if there's no iron ore, there's nothing for this guy to do. And the person that works here is Danny Sorensen. So, Danny, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, you're, you're sacked. <laughs> Go find another job, mate. Uh, we got the same thing with this building as well. So this is the glass blower. So DeLucas1 works in there. And I'm sorry, mate, you're going to be sacked as well because, well, we've run out of sand. We've got six sand, which isn't enough to turn into glass. Uh, we do have 17 panes of glass, though. So I think I'm going to carry on building. Oh, wait, no, I haven't started yet. Look. So last time we unlocked the cottage. So basically, there's like three sort of tiers of housing. There's tents, which we do have some of here. Some have collapsed. We got, we got hit by a tornado last time. Um, I mean, I might just say, well, deconstruct them all basically because i'm gonna be replacing them with a cottage i've got a few huts down here huts are pretty good basically the better houses they have better housing quality which as your population grows bigger that's what they want they want the better one so if we build a cottage we're gonna get a higher one of those and oh man they need a lot of resources five planks five slabs three glass and three iron and then as that's getting destroyed once we got the space we'll shove a cottage in its place Oh, that was a rhyme. That was like a rhyme, like a little poem or something. Oh, I've got to be careful, though. So the, the cottage only holds four villagers. The hut holds six. So I will need to build more cottages than we have huts, which is quite annoying. Still, until we find some more sand, I'm not going to be able to do that. There is... Oh, look, there's a dune there. So once we've got our party back, which looks like it's about to happen, they've finished scavenging that. They, look, we've just got... They found traces of the past. And the last time I followed the tracks, I think we found a load of old poo or something. <laughs> which sounds terrible, but it was actually useful. Yep, there you go. We've got 30 dung, which we can use as fertilizer and stuff. So we've grabbed that. Oh, what are we... Oh, there's a spore cloud. Are we going into the spore cloud? All right, I'll tell you what. I can stop this. I can stop this. All right, Ombu. I can tell him down here. I can say, run. Run, Ombu. Ready? We're going to watch him run. Look how fast he is. He's got six legs, so he's really fast. He's, he's not very fast, is he? I'll tell you what, though. I can just... I can speed it up. Quickly, get through the spores. Run, Ombu. <laughs> Run. 
Oh dear, right, okay. What we need to do, we need to be very, very careful now. Oh, look, it has happened. So basically, hang on, I'm going to hit pause because this is dang this could ruin my colony. Can you see that there? That is a poisoned plant. So we've got to, we've got to, we've got to shove balloons on them so people know where they are and they'll come and harvest those. Because uh, basically, if you, if you don't collect all these poisoned plants, then they will spread. And because most of our back is sort of growing, uh, a small... A small poison infection could literally kill your colony. Now, thankfully, last time I did actually build this. So this is a decontaminator. And basically, if I unpause that, people go in there and they'll use flamethrowers to get rid of these. But I need to come over to the compost heap. And i got to change the compost into biogas. So I'll probably add some more people to that. Because as it says back at the decontaminator thing, uh, we need to use biogas or ombu bile as fuel. Now, we don't have access to ombu bile. I didn't want to, like, drill into his back or whatever. So we're just using his poo. So we need to make that fast. All right, so I think I've I've selected them all. I've pretty much turned off all my jobs that aren't needed uh, in the hope that everyone else will just go and like dig up these blooming plants. Uh, right, so I need jobs over here. We don't need what are these? Oh, these are the... I'm not researching anything. Let's go into the research tab. So I've got six scientists, access to 168% research speed, and I'm not researching anything. All right, so I'm going to research the wheat harvesting because uh, that will give us access to like different foods later on. We can create a windmill. We can create a bakery. Uh, oh, bait goods for everyone. That'll be good. Uh, but for now, look, we've got our first decontaminator with a flamethrower. Oh, and who'd have thought that? It's DeLucas again. He is he is jack of all trades. Master of none, probably. Where is he going? I think he's going to the pantry to get some... Oh, he just went and ate. He, j he literally just ate food. You... <laughs> <laughs> you greedy bastard. Right, go and go and pick up the things, you knobs. Oh, look, they're all just sat there like, oh, Matt, there's there's nothing to do. We don't have any fuel, Matt. All right, well, yeah, we're waiting for the biogas to be made. Oh, man, it's nighttime. Look, you can see the infection is spreading in a bad way. Oh, look down here. Look, there's tree infected. Whoa, 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 what happened? Whoa, whoa. Wow. All my buildings have been destroyed. <laughs> My entire- that's what everyone's doing. They're rebuilding the city. What happened? Oh, no, look. A strong thunderstorm sweeps over your village. If I zoom out. Oh, look. There was a strong thunderstorm back. This it road sucks. sucks. Right, and we've got a cold snap coming up ahead. So cold snaps, they they affect the growth of your crops. I mean, I mean, I've got two choices. I could try and ask Ombu to run through it. I could sleep now, so I've got time to, like, rebuild and stuff. Or I can just let it happen. I might I might just let it happen. Anyway, let's send someone to that sand dune. It's only going to take them 13 hours. Then they'll be back with sand. Because uh, look, we've, we've completely run out of glass. That is not good, I think. Is that because it was stored in the glass blower? Maybe once that's rebuilt, we might get that back. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to use the priority tool. I'm going to tell everyone, don't worry about rebuilding. Just blooming stop the infection, you knobs. Oh man, there's literally, there's so many. They are everywhere. But yeah, if we do that, hopefully people will stop rebuild. Stop rebuilding! <laughs> Oh, this is not good. Look at this inspection. We've got the flamethrower, guys. They've just... They've got no fuel. Oh, this guy has fuel. Yes. Burn it. Burn it all. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, what's going on with Ombu? Hang on. Let's see him out. Oh, he's, he's laying down. He's going to sleep. Ready for the yawn? It's like a THX sound effect. <laughs> I swear I've heard that same thing in the cinema. Anyway, look. We burnt one of the trees. We, we've got to get rid of everything, though, guys. What are you all doing? I thought they could just, like, kick them about before. Like, oh, yeah. Look. Here we go. Here we go. Look. This guy's punching the hell out of it. Who's that? Carlo. Nice work, Carlo. So I think he just punches them out of existence. And, oh, yeah. Look. Someone's over here. Who's this? Zizzy the fox. Get in there. Put your back into it, son. Um, do we have do we have poisoned people? Po oh, yeah. Look. Seven out of 57 are poisoned. Okay. So that means we need to unpause the village doctors. Uh, we probably need to unpause the herbalist as well. We need to... Can we get this rebuilt, please? Thankfully, people are getting through that. Hetna kick, punching that bush. Oh, and it looks like... Yes. Yes, we're getting rid of it. Who's that? Vespian. Nice work. Okay, we're sort of... We're clearing up all the infection everywhere. That was blooming close. Oh, lag him off. Look, there's one just... There's one right next to you, mate. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, not sure the flamethrower guys did a lot. I think that's because we really, we didn't have enough stuff. I mean, you can see a few burnt things about, but we really need to focus on getting some more biogas. Uh, but the next, the next emergency is, look, Ombu is hungry, 74% hungry. Now we do have an Ombu food there. That's not a ball of poo, that's actual food. So if we just unpause this, this is the feeding trebuchet. So I think once Ombu wakes up, we'll be flinging food into his mouth. 
Uh, but for now, we've got we've got something else to look at. We've got another decision, another collapse mine. Uh, so I did the same thing. I played it safe, but this time we were massively rewarded. There was a maze of tunnels. They were nearly out of energy, but suddenly a light shimmers through the roof. They can see the clear blue sky, but that's not all. A ray of light points directly towards a shiny object. We got 21 iron ore and three knowledge. Three knowledge is like incredible so if we head back into here yeah look top right we now have four knowledge so we can research like one of these one of these four knowledges i feel like this scout tower could be incredible that increases the radius on the world map it costs a lot of resources to make though we're going to need some some sand so we can make glass to do that we could potentially do the laboratory as well that is used to create medicine oh, that could that could save me i guess I don't know how I give the medicine to Ombu. Do I need, like, the injector to do that? Use to inject Ombu with various substances. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to turn Ombu into an addict, but, um, yeah, let's head back to the map, and then we're going to send someone to that settlement. That should give us some new people. I feel like because I need sand, I need to go up there, but look, there's a... Can you see there's a poison cloud? So that goes along the dotted line, so we need to make sure we don't run through it. Like, there, we need to, like either sleep before or run through. We've got to time it well. Well, look, look, Ombu's waking up, which means as he stands up and causes absolute chaos to my village. <laughs> they were like, earthquake. Yeah, I think I can I can come to this and I can say, feed Ombu. And the food has been flung. Look, did you see that? He caught it, a little Malteser in his mouth. And look, it was happy, he wagged his tail. <laughs> oh, Ombu's so cute. Anyway, his hunger has dropped 20% to 56. I'm going to keep making the Ombu food and stuff because uh, he is dreadfully hungry for the research. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for the scout tower. I think that's I think that's a good plan, although I'd, I wouldn't mind the windmill and the bakery. Still, a committed scout tower it is. Uh, we've got some settlers that we can pick up. So, yeah, definitely pick them up. We need more people. Three healthy and two hungry people have joined. Nice. Neglected Zach, never again, 212. Breezy Bro, John o Purdy, and Cody Barrick, welcome to the colony. Yeah, I might have to get you guys to work straight away though, because I feel like we're we're in a little bit of a little bit of a tricky situation. I mean the trouble is it's really not the temperature to be I don't even know if we can grow mushrooms. It's freezing, so they're decomposing. The growing mushroom, harvesting it doesn't yield anything yet, and it's just dying. Yeah, I'm not even sure we can do that, so I don't think we can feed Ombu again. Uh, but if we zoom out, we are about to... I've, I've told him to head north, because I need the sand. Although, looking at this, look, there's people that are crossing down there. Sod it. No, we're going to go south instead, because look, I can just about see a dune there. So I'm going to send a party. That's a bit more sand for some more glass. And then we're going to try and time it so we end up in the green when the people come. Do I need to run? Let's tell Ombu to run. I think he trusts me now. I keep petting him, which means he sort of, he listens to me quite a lot now. But yeah, oh look, there's poison nomads as well. So I think we'll definitely run into those. I just, I do want to try and hit these. Let's, uh, let's run again. It's a bit of cardio exercise for you, Ombu. Right, so now the distance looks sort of similar. I could always make him run again. I just don't know if I walk quicker than these guys. If I do, I'm going to have to make him stop. Okay, let's let's speed up and see what happens. Oh, we're moving. Yeah, we're moving way quicker. Oh, poo. <laughs> right, sorry, Ombu. All that running. Uh, I'm going I'm to make you lay down. So he's come to a halt. He is going to lie down. He's listening to me. I, yeah, oh, I shouldn't have run. I shouldn't have run. I should have got closer before I did anything. Anyway, Ombu is up again. And thankfully, I think because we're right on the edge... Uh, we are actually growing mushrooms again. Uh, however, our water is going down in a big way. We've only got six water. What's happened to the water? All right, they are producing water, my air wells. I think maybe just the mushroom growth is using it up quite quick. Anyway, let's unpause the Ombu kitchen because uh, he's getting hungry. He is getting hungry. All right, Ombu, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I have to make you sleep, mate. He is gonna have a snooze. It's like, fine, it's bedtime. Or maybe I should have, I probably should have just slept there, shouldn't I? <laughs> Well, if they walk past now, I'm going to be so annoyed. All right, anyway, they're getting closer and closer. I probably want to try and wake Ombu up now. Can I wake him up? All right, wake up, dude. Alarm call, alarm call. I'm on, I'm on times four speed, if you're wondering, like, why he woke up so violently there. It wasn't because of my alarm. But yeah, we need to try and intercept. I think we're going to. Although, why has it gone red? Why has it gone red? Is red good or is red bad? Do I need to speed Ombu up? Oh, we got them, we got them. Yes, we've encountered nomads. Pick them up. 
We've got two healthy people. Decent. And then we're going to bump into those two next. They're poisoned. So let's just head to our village doctors. We've only got one. I might up that to three village doctors just to be safe. Nice. Back at the map, though, we've got traitors of the past. So is that just more poo again? Yep, more poo. Nice. And we've just bumped into those settlers as well. These are poisoned, but yeah, whatever. Let's pick them up. Our doctors are good to go. Oh, wait, they're not poisoned at all. The game lied to me. Too healthy and too hungry. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That was from this settlement that I scavenged. Look, now we're running into those people. Oh, man, we're going to get so many people now. I'll pick up the poisoned people. Yeah, too poisoned and too healthy. That's fine. Oh, no way. Look, so this sawmill, this was getting that all the wood from this trunk. The trunk's gone. Are there any more on the map? Yeah, look, there's one way down there. But that's it. So we might have to look at trying to get another another source of wood. Now, which we can actually do in the research thing. If we research a tree nursery and then a forester, we can plant our own trees. So that might be one to look at fairly soon. I mean, there's actually lots of trees I can just say cut down. All right, so back on the map, coming up ahead is another poison cloud. Now, we might have to do a bit of, a bit of strategic sleeping or running. I don't know... Don't know how this is going to work at the moment. Also, bottom right, look, we've traveled over 500 wow. kilometers. Yeah, in this direction up here, if I can tell Ombu to go north, there's some there's some free food for him. So yeah, definitely say go north because we are struggling a bit on the food. He's a bit hungry, although we probably have enough food saved up. Yeah, so we've got two food in the trebuchet, so we'll just launch that into his mouth. Ready? Floosh! And he caught it. Nice. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, that cloud is pretty close. Can I can I get him to run? All right, Ombu, run before that poison cloud gets to us. I really, I don't want to get poisoned right now. Oh, no, look, there's more people. There's more people ahead. Oh, do I want to go north then? I'm currently going north here to the food. I have just fed him, to be fair. Oh, THX noise, THX noise. <laughs> yeah, where have you slept, by the way? All right, slept just before that. So we've got time to decide. Do we want the food? Or do we want the people? Honestly, I'm tempted to go the people way, actually. Because that's quite a lot of mushrooms growing. Although we're completely out of water. I think as efficient as this water producer looks, we need to we need to make it a tripod. We need to add another air. Yeah, well, maybe I'll add two. I've added another one. <laughs> we got four nuts going on. Right, and you can also see as well where Ombu is sleeping. Like this biome. Up the top, you can see the ground toxicity is high. That affects Ombu's poison levels. So he's currently 37% poisoned, which means his health there is no longer 100%, it's 98%. Now, thankfully, we do have village doctors, which means we can send an antidote. So when he wakes up, we'll lose 20% of that poison level. So that'll be good. So yeah, I think we're fine with mushrooms. I'm going to tell him to go south, actually. Now, I'll also send some people to that settlement. And yeah, annoyingly, because Ombu is, is in the poison, area a lot of my villagers are poisoned we zoom in on clayton down here look he's poisoned oh and also we need to build the scout tower we've got we've got the resources to do it that goes along an edge so yeah we'll shove that there super high prioritize that because then we can see further on this map and maybe we can see where the sand is so we can build some more cottages all right so we'll fast forward and you can see these guys they're building as quick as they can good work everyone look at the teamwork look at that teamwork anyway they've built through the night which i think think means we're pretty much there. Look, Tom and Zizzy the fox, they're giving it the old hammer treatment. <gasps> there it is. Oh, look how strong it looks. <laughs> look how strong it looks. Whoa. Okay, so now if we zoom out. Oh, look at the map. It's huge. It is massive. I've never seen one that big. That's what she said. <laughs> Uh, oh, and actually, if we pause, maybe we should go north because there are villagers up there anyway. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Ombu, I've changed my mind again. You're going north. So that is food for Ombu and people. Oh, no, who's that? They're really poisoned, are they? Vespian waiting for the doctor. They are badly poisoned. I think, is that the doctor there? Yeah, I am Destructor Man, the doctor. Just healed Vespian. Save the day. Although there's another one over here. Tom, the guy who just built the scout post. He is also badly poisoned. Oh, actually, oh, there's loads of people badly poisoned. Maybe, should I build another doctor thing? Right, and if we zoom out, you can see Ombu has gone north. So it won't be long till he's chowing down on some mushrooms. Oh, and look, now we've gone this way. There is some sand in range. So as soon as we have a free scavenger, we'll send, send someone over to that. 
and we can get back making glass and therefore more cottages as well. All right, so Rombu's back at the food spot. You can see he's having a little chow down there. He loves it. So his food bar is going down. So I don't have to worry too much about food anymore. Although I've got five food saved up, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to send the Ombu doctors to send the antidote because uh, the Ombu poison level is still pretty high. So you can see them in the balloon. Look, they've just taken off. So they float over to his head and then basically they drop it in his mouth. I can't remember. Do they inject him in the face? I think, yeah, they, they drop it in his mouth from the looks of it. All right, so that was too much food for Ombu. I might actually, I'm going to trebuchet a bit more food into his mouth. So he's catching it. I love that his, his tail curls up when he catches. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that's made Ombu pretty happy. He's eaten. Anyway, we found some more rusty body armor for Ombu. Now, last time I did that, I got iron. Um, that was with the top option. So I'm going to try the bottom one. These rusty pieces are worthless. Let's scout for rare resources. Let's see what we find. Oh no, a worker died. That's our first death. It was a trap door. Oh no. We did get 30 iron though. <laughs> oh man, we lost someone. Who died? Robert Reese. My first death. Let's take a moment to remember Robert Reese. I think he probably looked like that guy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we got so many people, Robert. I can't exactly remember what you did, but you're a good scouter. I'm sorry you're gone. Rest in peace. And then we'll keep fast forwarding. I'm so glad I did the, the scout tower because I can see so much more. It's amazing. So I think first thing we're gonna do once we've once we've scavenged the shrine with our research, we're gonna research the bakery. We do need two skill points though. Uh, thankfully, look, there's another shrine there. So we'll have that in no time. All right, and then we gotta decide what way do we go. North goes into a cold area. Area, but there's nothing really much up there. If we go south, we get some more nomads to pick up, but then there's a short heat wave. Now, the good thing is going to a hot climate, we're, we shouldn't actually be too bad. Because uh, basically, these, these beets, I can just swap them out for, for corn, which is food, and for cactuses, which gives us water. Now, my only concern is we're proper getting through the water at the moment. In fact, I might. So I assume mushrooms aren't going to grow very well. I might pause those for now. Or at least set them to harvest. So we'll harvest all them and then we'll pause that. So yeah, I've decided we're going south. I mean, to be honest, going in here will be good. Because then we can get more sand, which means we can make more glass. Oh, actually, we've got 23 sand already. Let's get the glass blower back up and firing. Because then we can build more cottages. And since we're going to the desert, I'm going to start sending my scavengers to the oasises. Oasises? Oasei? I... <laughs> What's the plural of oasis? Is it just oasis? Today is going to be the day where I go and scavenge an oasis. You're right. I'll tell you what, Ombu. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you to wake up, mate. And the reason I've done that is because there is a sleeping spot coming up there. And those sleeping spots, they don't have any poison in. Where he's sleeping now, he was getting poisoned. So look, we've just walked into the, the heat wave. So I'm going to tell him to run. Let's get out of there. Although running in a heat wave, probably not advised. Still, he's out of there pretty sharpish. Good work, Ombu. Uh, that didn't last long though because Ombu's tired again and he's sleeping. So I think that's probably a good place to end this video. Uh, if you're still enjoying the series, boost the like button. I'm really intrigued to see like all the different things we're going to get into. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more. But for now, I'll say peace, love and sleeping Ombu. Thanks to the patrons once again. Massively appreciate your support of the channel. Remember, this video wouldn't exist without you. Bye guys!